Okay, I figured I'd show you on pen and paper the uh, the the routing path for the fiber optics system uh, based on uh, various configurations depending on what you're installing. Uh, in the notes below, I have a link to the Mercedes install instructions, and if you look on there, it'll say preliminary draft there are mistakes on it. The two that I've seen so and they've been a big source of confusion with people is in the instructions they have you disconnect this loop here attach one end they fail to mention that you have to attach the other end and the other mistake I've seen in the picture is it seems that they have uh, the fiber optic cables going to the phone unit backwards. So I'll explain all that out to you uh, in this segment. <clears throat> when you first take off that cover in the trunk and expose your whole uh, system area, what you should typically find, uh, if it's an O3, you actually may have the modules already in place. If it's an O7, you won't have any of the wire harnesses or anything and there's nothing you can do. But for instance, my O5, I take the cover off, this space here is empty, this space here is populated with some electronics, and this space here is empty. This is where your phone unit goes, this is where your voice control unit goes. On the left hand side you're going to see a yellow, what looks like a wire, it's actually a fiber optic cable, looped back on itself. You're also going to see two orange fiber optic cables laying straight there, one with a connector on the end, the other one without a connector, and they disappear up under the um, trim, plastic trim for the side panel. Those go off to where your, your satellite radio will mount. If your satellite radio is not in place, uh, these just are terminated loose ends behind that panel there. If you have a satellite radio, uh, this ideally would, would have to be hooked up for it to work. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have a diagram for that because that's under the satellite radio uh, diagram, uh, satellite radio video. But basically, uh, the yellow fiber optic loop, you would undo that connector there. Uh, this long end would go to that short end. This long end would flip up and hook up to that short end. And boom, that's it for the fiber optic connection to the satellite radio. Uh, <clears throat> so this loop here, where this goes, the long end is actually going to your navigation system. The short end is coming from your compact disc changer up at the dash. So uh, this diagram here you will see in the uh, uh, Mercedes instructions. Not actually sure if this is how it has to be physically. It's how it has to be plotted out in when you hook up the star uh, computer system to your car. It has to plot these out in the in the computer system, uh, but I follow it anyway for physically in the car. And just as a note, also uh, it says on the instructions that you have to go to the dealer. They have to hook up to the computer and plot this out in in the car system. I plugged it in. It, it worked right off the bat. I actually didn't need anything done. <clears throat> so. So now let's say that the only thing you're going to hook up is the phone module in the back. And what you will want to do is you're going to undo the yellow, uh, the, the uh, yellow fiber optic loop connector. The short end is going to go into you're going to need an orange extension fiber optic cable. So the short end, you'll use that connector to hook it up to the orange cable that you bought on eBay. And you're going to have to loop it around because you can't bend it and go on to, into the uh, left side of the plug going into the phone unit. 
and then the long end is going to loop around and go into the right side. So the sending is going to come sending from the compact disc changer through the orange cable and then into the phone unit and then the phone unit will return the signal back through the long yellow cable which heads off to the um, uh, navigation system. And these you will leave alone because if, if you don't have the satellite you'll leave that alone. Now let's say you're going to do it with the phone and the voice control system and still no satellite. So the long end is going to come out of the phone. So, well, let's do it from the beginning. The short end, which is coming from the compact disc changer, now has to hook up to your uh, fiber optic cable that you purchased on eBay or wherever and that goes in onto the right side of the voice control unit. Then you need a cable that comes out of the left side of the voice control unit back, loops back to the phone unit, and most of the times these will have a loop. Um, it won't be straight in <clears throat> because that would be too sharp of a bend. And then out of the phone unit into the long yellow cable that heads off to the navigation. If you're going to hook it up with satellite, satellite you want to have as the last unit before going back to the navigation. So the short cable coming from compact disc changer is going to once again go all the way up to the voice control unit. Then it's going to come out of the voice control unit, down, loop around, into the phone unit. Then it's going to come out of the phone unit up to in through the long cable to the satellite and then the short cable from the satellite will then hook up to the long cable of yellow cable of the fiber optic heading off to the navigation and that is how my my uh, system is is hooked up and once again all this information is in a link down below in my description. Okay, now let's take a moment to talk about the most fiber optics. Now, when you go on eBay and you do a search for most uh, cable, most fiber optic, most fiber, or whatever combination you have to do, they will all come up, all these will come up the same. Uh, that's because the uh, industry decided on a standard, so you don't have to worry about it being Mercedes-specific, BMW-specific, etc. Uh, it's all the same between all the uh, manufacturers. Now, this here is a female most connector, and this is a male most connector. Now, what you want to look out for is you want the male connectors also to come apart like so that is if you're going to be plugging into the voice control module because the voice control module has a big plug that goes onto there and this smaller half goes into that plug whereas the phone control module has its own separate plug for the most connector which will plug right into there and if you need to take it apart further which we will because we are going to be configuring the loop ourselves you want to push this little blue pin out and then you'll be able to pull the ends out of the plug because we're going to have to configure this cable ourselves to our own needs. If you're just putting in the phone module by itself, you're going to do it one way. If you're doing it with the voice control, then you're going to be doing it a different way. Uh, and I'll try to cover all the bases for that so 
you know, as little trouble as possible. Uh, in the case of this, I'm going to have to take the end off of here and this black um, corrugated tubing all has to come off because these wires will need to be separated to form the most loop that is in the control system. So let's move on to the next step. Now if you're, all you have is just the cellular telephone module, that's all you're putting in, you're going to want to get one of these. You want to get one of these uh, with this short stubby line on there uh, just so that you can have this line come across the top like they show in the picture on the instructions. You can't bend you can only bend the fiber optic cable so far after that it'll break internally and obviously that's no good so having this little stubby on here will give you a little bit of extra room in my case with the satellite radio I am going to be able to just plug the satellite radio right into my directly into my connector here and that's what I'm going to do now Okay, well that's how it looks so far. I'll have to neaten up the fiber optic cables so that nothing's getting pinched or uh, potentially damaged.